Are you ready? Here we are, starting another Christmas season. Our Pastor Adam gave us the first message last Sunday, teaching on, of all things, the genealogy in Matthew chapter 1. As it turns out, though, this family tree of Jesus, with its long list of names, is the perfect entrance to the revealing of the Messiah. How? I'll give you a few reasons. Here's the first one. The genealogy is built on, on a foundation of just four names. Here's the first verse of Matthew. It says, an account of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. This beginning sums up the entire Old Testament as well as his genealogy in four key names, Abraham, David, Jesus, and one implied name, Adam. Why? Well, the word genealogy can be translated Genesis, and the book of Genesis begins with Adam. Being the first created human, as goes Adam, so goes the entire race. Alas, we all know what happened. Adam sinned and chose a path apart from God. Second name, Abraham is the man who demonstrated a profound faith in God. The Lord made a covenant or agreement with Abraham, the man of faith, which set the foundation for blessing to come to all the families of the earth. Third name, David. David became the greatest king in all of Israel's history. He was a man after God's own heart. His leadership and love for God made Israel a great nation. And then, of course, our fourth name. Jesus was a direct descendant of Abraham and David. Jesus is the one who will overcome Adam's sin, bring Abraham's blessing to the earth, and become the true Davidic king over all the peoples of the earth. Okay, here's a second reason as to why this genealogy is a perfect interest to in Matthew. The genealogy is a family tree of inclusivity. You know, there's a great interest today in researching one's family history. Quite often, there are people in our histories, though, that are that they're like an embarrassment to our family, or for some reason they don't seem to fit. Well, Matthew's genealogy is fearless and transparent in presenting the family tree that led from Abraham to David to Jesus. This genealogy is not a family tree of blue bloods and law abiders. In fact, Jesus' family history includes the Canaanites Tamar and Rahab, the Moabite Ruth, and Bathsheba, the wife of uh, the Hittite. Yes, that Bathsheba, who was married but was taken by King David. She is enshrined in the scripture as the wife of Uriah, who was a Hittite, reminding us of David's indiscretion. Number three, third reason why this genealogy is a perfect entrance to the book of Matthew. The genealogy finds its fulfillment in Jesus. So when Matthew wrote these words, there had been around 400 years of no word from God. It feels dark in Israel. Not only that, the one event included in the genealogy is the forced removal of the Israelites from their land to the land of Babylon. This is called the exile. It is into this background of darkness and separation that the promised Messiah comes. He is the fulfillment of the blessing promised to Abraham, and he is the true king of the Jews and of the Gentiles. He is not only the one who came from heaven, the genealogy reveals that he is the one who embodies and represents all the peoples of the earth. So right after the genealogy, the first words are, Matthew 1.18, the birth of Jesus Christ came about this way, end quote. These words lead us to the birth of Christ. However, it is equally fitting to say that the birth of Jesus came to pass through the centuries-old plan of God, working through many people to bring about the coming of Jesus, the Messiah. So how does this affect us? Well, I think we all know that the Christmas season is really chaotic. In fact, life on this planet and our own lives often seem to border on chaos much of the time. Matthew's genealogy uncovers a deeper reality. God has been working out his plan through the lives of normal people since the fall of Adam. At this time of the year, we should focus on the birth of the one who has been promised and prophesied about for centuries. Jesus himself is our solid rock in the midst of whatever chaos swirls around us. So let the names that Matthew gives us in chapter one open our eyes to the unfolding of God's plan and to the Messiah who will carry out the Father's plan. Merry Christmas.